While you're creating a Microsoft Office PowerPoint presentation, you'll frequently need to move between slides in the presentation. There are a number of ways to navigate through your presentation, and you'll want to choose the method that works best for the way you work. You want to explore a presentation you've created, so you'll use some of the buttons and scroll arrows on the slide pane scroll bar and the status bar. Let's take a look at the presentation we currently have open. We are working in normal view right now, and the left side of the status bar at the bottom of the screen shows us that we are viewing the first of seven slides in this presentation. We'll begin viewing some of the other slides by using the down scroll arrow. Because we aren't zoomed in on the slide, this will move us to the next slide in the presentation. Clicking the down scroll arrow moved us to the second slide in our presentation. There are still several ways to move around that we haven't tried. This time, let's use the scroll bar to move forward. As you can see, that moved us to the third slide. We'll use yet another method to move to the fourth slide. Now let's go back one slide again, which we can do using the previous slide button. Moving one slide at a time can be tedious and time-consuming, so let's try skipping ahead in the presentation. You can advance several slides at a time by clicking anywhere within a specific slide's text on the Outline tab or by clicking a slide on the Slides tab. We already have the Slides tab open, so let's select Slide 5. Yet another way we can move to a different slide is by switching to Slide Sorter View and selecting the slide we want. This method is especially useful in presentations with many slides. Let's give it a try. As you can see, this view presents thumbnail versions of all of our slides. Slide Sorter View can be useful for navigating within a large presentation since you don't have to move through one slide at a time. We can move to and open up any of these slides simply by double-clicking them. Let's take a look at Slide 6. Double-clicking the slide brought us back to normal view with Slide 6 visible. As we've just learned, there are a variety of ways to navigate within PowerPoint. You may want to experiment with the scroll buttons and scroll bar, the next slide and previous slide buttons, and the different panes and views to find the methods that work best for you.